Try to beat the train! We can make it! Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's gut. He'd see all of Little Italy burn to the ground. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this in Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated and well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That, sadly, doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the Depression. So that, frankly, does not wash. Plenty of people, far worse off, live without sin. As we have seen and lost heaven, standing up to the mob can be a dangerous game. 
suspected mob hits carried out against officials in a number of American cities attest to that. What are our state and federal governments doing to ease public concerns? What can we expect from J. Edgar Hoover and his BOI, now renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigations? Are we truly powerless in the face of such callous disregard for human life? We shall let you know if we ever receive answers to these questions. This concludes our special report. Yeah, that's got to be Sergio's car. How am I going to get through to it? Going someplace? I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. assassination of city councilor Roberto Gilotti. Gilotti was gunned down while giving a speech at his own birthday party aboard the paddle steamer Lost Heaven Creek. According to eyewitness reports, the assassin made a daring escape by motorboat, aided by a number of associates, all under the cover of a lavish fireworks display. The public nature of the slaying, as well as the degree of professionalism with which it was kept. Tara, you okay? Yeah, it's the car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Give 
me out of here! Back to the car. We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed. It's doing kill that motherfucker. Moving to cover. Get every guy we got down here now. He's coming this way. You want it quick or you want it slow? Thank you. 
join up with the Tommy. Coming this way! the docks apart! Hey! hey! Over here! You and me now! Hit him from the side! Shoot!
happened? Some kind of fucking train? Over here! me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one can touch me. You ain't that lucky, bastard. Wait. No! 